Welcome to Designer Digital's Bi-Weekly Tip, December 5, 2014. This week, non-destructive cloning and healing on a separate layer in Photoshop or Elements. Cloning and healing are wonderful tools for cleaning up your digital photos before you print them. The best practice for editing your photos is to use non-destructive techniques which give you the flexibility to undo or alter those changes without having to undo subsequent steps in your project. To clone and heal in a non-destructive way, create a new layer for those edits instead of directly editing the image. The trick to successfully cloning or healing on a separate layer is in the options bar. Open an image and get the clone stamp tool or one of the healing brushes. Create a new blank layer by clicking the new layer icon in the layers panel. It looks like a little square with a turned up corner. This places a new transparent layer on top of your image. In the options bar, choose sample all layers. By default, the sample is current layer. So if you have the transparent layer selected and you try to clone out something in the image, nothing happens because it's cloning transparent pixels. So changing this to all layers, you can clean up the image with the transparent layer selected. Using this method you can hide or delete your edit layer later or you can even just reduce the opacity of it if you're trying to bring back some of the original. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.